Hey YouTube, this is Goddess Lily. Today's video is all about fashion fair. I created this look that I'm wearing today with all of my fashion fair cosmetics. I dug and dabbed and dabbed and dabbled and played in my fashion fair and came up with a look for my blog that I wanted to share with you. And also, now that when I do a face of the day blog post, I'm also going to make a little video to complement it. So I'm going to start off <clears throat> with my favorite Fashion Fair cosmetic face products. I have four foundations that I like to use and the first two that I like to use is from the Fragrance Free Oil Free Collection. They come in pink compacts like this and they have a cream to um, powder finish and they're very smooth. If you have oily skin, I don't recommend using a primer underneath them, but I do always recommend using a setting powder. And Fashion Fair has a very beautiful setting powder. So the first color of my cream to finish, my cream to powder finish makeup that I really, really love is called Copper Glow. Copper Glow looks like that. Copper Glow has a orangey type finish to it and I have orange undertones so Copper Glow just really blends in with my orange undertones and give me that gives me that look that I want. The second favorite of mine is called Tawny. Tawny is the exact color of my complexion. I have Tawny in three types of foundations by Fashion Fair. This, ah, oh, sorry about that. This is Tawny. So if I were to compare Tawny to Copper, you'd be able to see a little bit of red. Sorry about that, my finger got in it and nip, nip, gave it a little nip. So this is Tawny and that is copper. I'm holding it like this because my compact is broken. Cream to powder, I should say, is a very, this is Tawny and this is copper. It gives you a very good coverage, so I only wear this in the winter time. My favorite foundation to wear in the summertime are also by Fashion Fair and they are in the stick and these give you a very very smooth powdery finish you don't have to wear powder when you're wearing these so because they are pretty old I'm sorry well not old they're pretty used up this is as you know I've used them up and so I can't scroll them up but these are the colors the colors that I also wear are the same tawny and copper so tawny and copper are pretty much the only two colors that I wear in fashion fair so I love these these are my all two my my go-to summer foundations I actually am wearing tawny now I wear copper on the forehead because it gives me that little reddish glow that I like and they're pretty much the same color except for copper has a little hint of red in it. They also have the oil-free liquid. Liquid you can pretty much wear year round, you know, any season, it'll work for you. And um, liquid doesn't have tawny for some reason. So the next color that comes close to tawny and the liquid that matches my skin exactly is warm caramel. But of course they have copper in the liquid, so I do have copper in the liquid. So these are my three face foundations that I love to use that match my complexion exactly to the T by Fashion Fair. I've never came close to any other makeup than to matching my skin with my reddish orange un undertones. No foundation in MAC. I have to mix two colors together together for MAC. I have to mix two colors together for Chanel, Bobbi Brown, 
Um, I tried Lancome. I mean, come on, I'm in my early 50s. I've tried every cosmetic company out there, and I always go back to Fashion Fair for my face. Fashion Fair has a setting powder that I just really, really love. It's called Sugar. And it's kind of not like your everyday setting powder. This one is an oil control setting powder. I have not found an oil control setting powder that I loved in uh, any other line. And this is Sugar. And I really, really love this. It does leave a... It's supposed to go on translucent, but it does leave a little tiny whitish cover. But, you know, I deal with it. They all do. They have a oil control um, setting powder that I really, really love that's in my color. That's loose. I'm sorry, it's not a setting powder. It's a translucent powder. So it gives you that overall finish that you love to bring the glow to your face. My color is pecan. Pecan looks like that very very pretty love 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 pecan so these are those are my face products and I've taken pictures of all of these opened them up post them on my blog and at the end of this video I will tell you why I'm focusing on fashion fair fashion fairs brush blushes look like this they come in a little container I only brought one out to show you this one's called pearly paprika and it's very, very pretty. And if I can get it open, that's the color, it looks like that. And it also opens up <laughs> at the bottom with a little blush, brush and one of these. Now I have to tell you about this brush. I have several of these. I have about four or five blushes. So I took this this is the same blush that I use in my, um, I carry my compact, I carry a compact by another brand. This is all about Fashion Fair and because that brand doesn't have little brushes, I take the brushes out of here and I put them in there. So I make use of those little um, brushes. So let's on to the lipsticks. I took the liberty of swatching my five favorite lipsticks by Fashion Fair and I posted them on my blog, but I'll go over them one by one with you in the video. So the names are terribly small. You're not going to be able to see them. I don't care how close I put it up. This very first one is called Tropic Pink. Since I'm outside, I hope that you're getting a true color. I am not wearing Tropic Pink on my lips, but Tropic Pink, I believe, is that color. That is Tropic Pink. Very pretty, one of my favorite colors. Looks so pretty in the winter time. Love trop Tropic Pink. This one, not sure if you can see it. I'll put it up anyway called chocolate raspberry and this is what I'm wearing on my lips today chocolate raspberry looks like this it's so pretty it's a iridescent bluish pink color and it's just so beautiful this is chocolate raspberry this first one Let's see how pretty that is very very pretty and I have um, I have kind of deep lips like a brownish tint to my lips so they always look darker on me but if you have like pretty pink lips and you can pull off nude lipsticks this is going to look so pretty on you again that's chocolate raspberry this one is called fiery bronze this is one of my favorite nude lipsticks for the summer i call it nude for me because of course with the dark tones of my lips i can pull it off in a nude but honestly it some people it's going to come out orange on you this is the color it looks like on my arm this color right here but it comes out a little darker on my lips so i love it as a neutral for me that's called fiery bronze the next two are in an older fashion fair package if you're into fashion fair this these 
are maybe about three years old. This is before they came out with the black packaging. Black packaging is what you're going to find on the shelves now. This color is Mocha Milk. This is a neutral. Very barely shows up on my arm. This is Mocha Milk right there. And I like to wear it because it's so sheer, it kind of just looks like a gloss on my lips. Very nice to wear, I don't know, to yoga. I kind of just put it on to go to the gym because it reminds me of a, just a lip gloss. That's how it shows up on my lips. The last one is called Posh Punch. And Posh Punch is kind of like a, um, a plum color, I guess I would say. This is Posh Punch, this very last one. And it comes out a little deeper on my lips, but I love it. I always look for lighter lipsticks because I know when I wear them, they're gonna come out deeper on me. So I can get a bright pink and know that it's gonna come out a dark pink on me. These are two of my favorite lip glosses by Fashion Fair. The first one is called Tickle Pink. And Tickle Pink looks like that. And the next one is called Tantalize. And that is Tantalize. Fashion Fair has about eight, um, they call, they're called lip teasers. And of course, because I'm used to saying lip glosses, I say lip glosses. They have about eight of these, and they range from light pink to dark plum. They're very pretty. You can pull them off with just a lip liner and the lip gloss and be good to go. So anyway, that is my short review of my Fashion Fair haul for you today. And the reason why I am doing this video and posting a nice long sizable blog post with pictures and pictures of the products is because Fashion Fair has just recently hired the celebrity makeup artist Sam Fine as their creative director. And the buzz in the blogosphere has it that they're going to be looking for beauty bloggers from all age ranges to represent the Fashion Fair line, or really not represent, to blog about Fashion Fair. So I have a lot of Fashion Fair products, and I've been wearing Fashion Fair for the last 30 years, so I decided, hmm, it hasn't been announced yet, but let me get my blog post in so they can be dated, so they can, won't think that, oh, she just heard about it and just went out and bought some Fashion Fair products. So I have older products so that's been around for that I've had for a few years and if you know before this packaging they had pink and so I have some lipsticks at 10 years old that I featured on my blog. I no longer wear them because of course they lost that vanilla scent so I'm leery but I do um, keep them you know just for because I'm not a hoarder but who knows why I keep them. I just haven't tossed them yet. But anyway, that is the buzz about the Fashion Fair world. Sam Fine is going to come in and hopefully bring Fashion Fair up to the 21st century. It's going to try to give them more of an internet presence because right now there is no internet presence for Fashion Fair. No one blogs about them. No one posts videos about them. It's like, Fashion Fair who? Who are they? What? <laughs> so I um, am just sharing my love for Fashion Fair today, doing face of the day and focused all about Fashion Fair and just kind of hope that I could represent the 50-ish age group for Fashion Fair. So I have two fingers crossed for me. So that's my haul for Fashion Fair and thank you once again for watching.